Dear children, next we move on to the next sum. How to change the improper fraction into mixed fraction. Okay, the question will be the improper fraction. We have to change the improper fraction into mixed fraction. Okay, so our topic is change into that is mixed fraction. Okay. I am going to explain with few example sums. Let me make that is the question will be improper. Improper means what is that is numerator is bigger than the denominator. That is a improper fraction. Okay. Here that is the question will be that is 7 by 3. Okay. So th that is denominator is smaller one the than the numerator. So this is called improper fraction okay improper fraction now we are going to change this improper fraction into that is mixed fraction that is mixed fraction means a combination of whole number and a proper fraction okay let me do that is 7 by 3 so we have to divide here that is 7 by divided by 3 okay that is 2 3s are 6 here that is 7 minus 6 you have to subtract the number you get it that is 1 okay this is a quotient and this is a remainder okay now you are going to write this divisor is a whole number and write the remainder that is 1 and the quotient is here that is 3 1 by 2 okay so this will be the answer for change of improper into mixed fraction okay we got the answer as mixed fraction okay one more example that is 5 by 11 okay sorry this is a proper fraction okay and that is here 11 by 5 Okay, that is a improper means that is denominator is smaller than that of the numerator. Here you have to divide the number 11 by 5. Okay, now we are doing that is 2 5s are 10. Okay, subtract this and that is answer will be 1. This is a quotient and this will be the remainder. How to write the answer that is write this divisor is a whole number okay and this remainder is the 1 by 2 okay that is 5 and 1 5 1 by 2 that is 11 by 5 okay that is change into mixed fraction that is 5 1 by 2 so mixed fraction it has a one combination of one whole number and proper fraction here also 3 is a whole number and combination of this whole number and a proper fraction. Proper fraction that is a numerator is smaller than denominator here and here. So thus we have changed the improper fraction into the that is a mixed fraction. Okay next we move on to the next heading that is find the lowest form in a fraction. Okay this is a simple way to know by doing multiplication tables let me cancel the numbers okay and we will make the answer that is a lowest form of fraction okay let me see next subtopic that is change into lowest form okay so today we are learning the uh, change transform of change into that is improper and change into mixed and change into lowest form okay in fraction same heading so how to change the lowest form let me do that is by here i am going to explain with example sum okay that is 5 by 30 okay this is a fraction okay proper fraction because the denominator is somewhat bigger than the numerator so this is a proper fraction how to reduce this into a lowest form means take that is a numerator and denominator should be divided by the same divisor number. 
okay here that is divided by take this 5 okay that is divided by 5 again this also denominator also divided by the same unit of number okay that is 5 divided by 5 that is 1 and 30 divided by 5 let me recap our previous that is in our division topic that is by saying you have to find out the quotient by saying the multiplication table okay you have to say the 5 table multiplication 5 table until the number 30 okay that is 1 5 is 5 2 5 is 10 3 5 is 15 4 5 is 20 5 5 is 25 and 6 5 is 30 so put the 6 here this is a lowest form of this fraction 5 by 30 so this is the rule to divide the numerator and denominator by the same number okay so you can get the simplest form of this fraction 5 by 30 so the answer is 1 by 6 okay do you understand i am going to explain one more sum that is here 10 by 80 okay so this is a fraction number we are going to find out the lowest form this of this fraction okay let me take the same divisor number we are going to take that is divided by that is 2 okay here also divided by that is 2 okay here put the answer by saying this 2 table that is you have got 5 2's are 10 okay that is 5 and divided by that is 18 by 2 means here that is 9 okay that is 5 by 9 this is the answer for your that is the lowest form of this fraction that is 10 by 18 equal to that is 5 by 9 so you have to divide this number with the same divisor numerator and denominator should be divided by the same number that is 2 and 2 that is 5 2's are 10 9 2's are 18 okay do you understand so this is the answer for 5 by 3 okay one more sum for you that is 7 by 21 okay you have to get the number but table that is 7 table okay divided by 7 here also divided by 7 with the same divisor say the table okay that is 1 7 is 7 and by saying this 7 table up to the number 21 okay that is 3 7 are 21 so 3 7 are so 1 by 3 so 1 by 6 5 by 9 and 1 by 3 or the lowest form of all this fraction 5 by 30 10 by 18 and 7 by 21 respectively okay so that is a uh, change into lowest form okay and let me move on to the next that is in fraction there is a word problem few examples of word problem how to do in word problem that is addition subtraction and how to put the fraction also fraction term okay let me see okay next we move on to the word problem i am going to write here that is fraction word problem i am going to write a question for word problem and let me make statements and let me do the addition sums okay that is the question okay Sarah's mom okay bought a watermelon okay Sarah's mom bought a watermelon and cut into cut into eight pieces eight pieces and kept it in refrigerator okay 
So Sarah's mom bought a watermelon and cut into eight pieces and kept it in refrigerator. Sarah, okay, ate three pieces in morning, okay, and two pieces in the evening. Okay, find the total amount, total um, content does she eat. Okay, so read the question first. Okay, you have to read the question and understand whether it is a addition or subtraction sum and write down the statement and we have to uh, calculate the sum. Okay, that is Sarah's mom bought a watermelon and cut into 8 pieces. So, kept inside. She took first that is 3 pieces in morning and 2 pieces in the evening. So, find out the total uh, portion she ate. Okay, that is first she ate in the morning. Fraction means a part of a whole. So, first you have to write the fraction number. She ate the portion that is 3. Among the 8 pieces, among the cut 8 total whole portion that are 8 pieces. She ate only 3 pieces in the morning. That is 3 by 8. Okay, do you understand the term? It is she ate in the morning. Is equal to that is she ate the piece number of pieces that is 3 and the whole portion that is here. Okay, total number of pieces inside the fridge that is 8. So 3 by 8. Okay, and she ate in the evening. Okay, she ate 2 pieces. So, here also put the fraction term 2 by 8. Okay, that is a fraction is a part of a whole. Here the whole part means that is a total 8 pieces of watermelon. So, 2 by 8. Okay, now you have to add this, these two fraction. Okay, that is 3 by 8 plus 2 by 8. Okay, so put the first numerator numbers that is 3 plus 2 and put the denominator 8 here okay and 3 plus 2 you got that is 5 and write down this denominator 5 by 8 this is a total portion total portion sara 8 Okay, that is 5 by 8 portion of the watermelon. So, this is a method to calculate the total fraction and by understanding the question, write down the statement in your word problem. You will get individual, that is separate mark terms for your full mathematical sum because you get, you will get the each statement. Okay, this is, a, it uh, gets half, half mark and the final calculation and write down this answer. This is a method to do the word problem in uh, fraction. Okay and let me discuss another addition and subtraction sum in fraction in our next video.